Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Lifestyles Update. Hi, I'm Nasir Ransom and this is Location Lifestyles. And I'm Emily Krause. After months of dating, news of Robert Kardashian and Black China breaking up broke this past weekend. According to E! Online, the two have decided to slow things down a bit and take a more casual approach to the relationship. A source close to the family says that Kylie doesn't want to give her the attention she so desperately wants. Another source says that it's hard for Rob being stuck in the middle of his family and his girlfriend. I guess you'll have to check back in with us to see what happens next. Wow. Well, here at Cabrini this week, the women's lacrosse team is currently hosting a Japanese team for two nights. I personally am hosting two girls, Hiromi and Takako, and these girls are seriously so sweet. They taught me the meaning of my name is happy, beautiful, and smart. The team is from Meiji University, which is in Tokyo, and they'll be heading back on March 13th. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. The 2016 Philadelphia St. Patrick's Day Parade is this Sunday, March 13th, from noon to 3 p.m. Floats, Irish folk dancers, green confetti, necklaces, bagpipers, and much more will be at the parade. The parade is free, but you do pay for the drinks. Students wishing to join in the festivities can hop right on the regional rail or the North Sound High Speed Line to 69th Street and take the bus into the city. As the year winds down, many seniors are being struck with a bad case of senioritis. Let's see how they're coping. I have classes where like, there are people who I know are seniors in there that just have not shown up to classes like, at all. You can even see it in the classes, like people where there's a lot of psychology majors in the class, they're starting to slack off and I know that people are handing in homeworks late and just stuff like that. But I'm doing my best not to fall into the trap. It can be seen throughout campus. As senior year progresses, more and more students fall victim to senioritis and lose any motivation they had in their classes. Can't wait to be done with like papers and homework and just go to work and come home and like really not have other stuff to do. Like it just gets old. And by the time like second semester rolls around of senior year, I'm just over it and ready to graduate. I want to move on, start my career. So far, there is only one known cure for senioritis: staying involved. Students who continue to participate in clubs and sports have been able to escape many of the deadly symptoms. Colin stays involved with various clubs like student government, and Krista is an active lacrosse player. Her recent trip to Florida with her lacrosse team over spring break helped keep her motivation up for the rest of the school year and helped her to fight senioritis. The best advice I have to avoid senioritis is that your GPA is a big concern when it comes to continuing on after Cabrini and pe businesses and people look at that to really focus on how you are as a person and your intellect and everything. So if you slack off as a senior, that means that your GPA slacks off and it doesn't show good for the businesses. Luckily, graduation will be here before we know it. So a cure is on the horizon. Well, that's good. This past Sunday, Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris celebrated their one-year anniversary. Mm. Taylor posted on her Instagram a picture of a gold heart-shaped locket mm. with their date engraved on it. On Snapchat, Calvin shared a video of a cake that said, Happy One Year with hearts on it. The cake looked homemade and Taylor was in the video smiling ear to ear. That's great that they made it to one year already. I know. <laughs> If you're obsessed with all things Disney, starting Monday the 14th, Cabrini's Disney Week is here. A Disney movie will be shown on Tuesday, March 15th at 8 p.m. in Grace, and Monsters University Friday the 18th at 9 p.m. in Widener Lecture Hall. Disney Pictionary will be on Wednesday, March 16th at 8 p.m. in Widener also. Wow, well, we'll have to go check that out. Definitely stop by. This season of Dancing with the Stars has recently added another NFL player to the cast. Antonio Brown, who is a wide receiver all-star for the Pittsburgh Steelers, made his announcement on SportsCenter on Monday. Super Bowl MVP from the Denver Broncos, Von Miller, will also be competing in Season 22 of Dancing with the Stars. Looks like this will be a very competitive year out on the dance floor. I love seeing the football players like try and dance like exactly. salsa and everything. It's so funny. <laughs> Thanks for watching Location Lifestyles. Be sure to check us out on our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. 
I'm Nasir Ransom. And I'm Emily Krauss. Have a great week, Cabrini.